Yeah, 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 we back, episode 77, where the hell we been? I know, I've been on the road, Juicy Jeline been on the road, Juicy Jeline talk to the people, they missed you. You got married since you been gone? I seen a big ring on um Boy, on the story. So what's going lying. on with Poppy P- Repose? <laughs> huh? Stop lying. That's why we ain't been to the show, Juicy. Making big plans for the big day. Talk to him, Juicy. He lying. All y'all niggas in the DM. You it's are. over. <laughs> it's over. Juicy put that ring on the story. Y'all ain't see the ring go back like three days. It's on there, right? No. You ain't asked the question? Mm-mm. Oh, you better not lie. You gonna lie? I'm not lying. Richie lying. Workhouse, what's good, my boy? Call me Richie Workhouse. You heard Workhouse? Him? You ain't been you in the Workhouse? Him? Let him tell you. Hold up, let me tell you. Let him know what the name be. Richie Workhouse sound harder because that's the gel and trim, bro. (laughs) Nobody. You you ever heard of Workhouse? Richie Workhouse, man. We on. You better not lie. (laughs) Hey. Yo, salute to my man, Richie Workhouse. I I haven't been drinking. I've been drinking water all day. But my man Richie is in the building. This is episode seventy-seven. Where the hell we been and where the hell he been? Hey. You know what I mean? We gonna talk to the streets today. But guess what? I want to talk. I want to talk to Juicy and ask, "How was your weekend?" Because it's been a while since we did the podcast. Right. So tell me what you've been up to. Um, let's see. This weekend was my mom's birthday. Shout out to my mom. Happy birthday. Right. Okay. We went out to uh, dinner. Did Meet you pay? Your brother's paid. Uh, we all paid. Y'all chipped in. Yeah. We How y'all do paid. that? Like everybody passing around a debit card, or everybody just drop the cash? We, on the table? Cash app. You know, cash, like, cash app. app you on my Apple Pay? You you put it on your card. So so who put it on their card? Uh, my brother. The oldest, right? Yes. That nigga, he the one with the money. Yes. All right, salute <laughs> to the big brother with the money. The little brother is, you know, he's um, he in between jobs right now. He in between jobs? No, he he's a... What? The law. Okay, he's the law. Okay. <laughs> you come from a long line of police niggas, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, your, your weekend was good. Yes, I had a good weekend. Um, are you back in the gym? You looking a little slim. A little bit, yeah. Okay, I'm what you doing? You know, a little, 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 little bit of working out. Okay, or how? Like, are you doing your diet too? Like, are yes. you cutting back? Eating? Cutting Stop. back, yes. Stop I haven't completely seven. cut back yet, let's be real, okay. you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm greedy, but right, I'm working up. on it. And how's Cairo doing? My dog? Yeah. How Good. You he, how you remember my dog, I'll man? I be stalking Cairo. My Roro is great. He's and good? I have a pit bull now. His name is Ash. You got a pit bull and a little Yorkie? Yes, and I got another little Yorkie Sadie. I got three Are dogs. Are you one of them people that let the dog sleep with you? No. All right, cool. Because I hate Can't going to the girl's bed. house and they got fur in the bed. She I get the dog like, in the mouth. I don't. Yeah. Don't play with me. <laughs> All right, so listen. If y'all know, we took off a couple of weeks from the podcast um, I've been traveling. I was in. Uh, he was outside, y'all. I was in L.A. first for a couple, you know, a couple of days. Um, I enjoy L.A. and then I was in Colombia, the country. Beautiful um, experience, being able to stamp my passport. Uh, went over there with some of my guys. Shout out to my man DJ Radio. Dope experience. Glad to be back. Glad to get this podcast back on the road. Hey. I reached out to one of my guys, Richie Workhorse, Yo. from the Mean Streets of Camden. And I Yo, said, you know what, We're going to talk about that, too. <laughs> okay, and I said, we gonna get into where that. the fuck have you been? You haven't been doing music. You ain't been putting nothing out. You know, uh, you was killing stuff mid-2000s. I ain't going to say early. I ain't going to no. treat you like that, like 2001. No, we started but really kicking like, no, like, like 2017, yeah, 18. Yeah, yeah, uh, 16, nigga. Don't try to go yeah, 17. 16. Yeah, I'm 16. Yeah. yeah, I was outside before that, too, okay. but I was like, I don't know. It was like okay. 17, 18 was like, yeah. Right. That was your year? Yeah, that was like, that was my coming out. That's when it was like, okay. the name was around, you know what I'm saying? All right, so tell people how you got started in music. Like, you know, like who, for, for, for um, first of all, where are you from? Because I said Camden, but yeah, you said we're going to get into that. Like, yeah, it's like, nobody, not, like I said, this probably, I'm going to keep it real. This is my first interview. Hey, come you, on. That's you why, feel that's me? Why like, you, you, you sit back and think about it. This is my first time really, so really sitting So when you get, down. like, big, don't forget about the people. Don't forget yeah, about the guys that reach so out. Like, yeah, so, like, I always be letting people know, like, shout out to Camden. Camden was always, like, Number one support right. because hey. when I started rapping, right. like really rapping, it right. was in Camden. So okay. that's where a lot of that shit came People from. People know you from. Yeah. So I was born in Philly for real. For okay. Like what side was, of Philly? I was born in West Philly. Okay. Born and, then, and raised on the no, playground. No, no, I, was, <laughs> I was born in West Philly. And then it's like, you know, right on the outskirts. I yeah. was in the county. Okay. I grew up in the county. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's and then where when um, I moved out. That's where Quilly's talk about all the time. The, he county, in the county. Yeah. But he talking about more, I think. 
I don't really know, but he always be talking like Norristown and shit. Okay, like, that's all right, the that. county up towards like okay. you know how West the Southwest right. puts you in like Yay and Darby, shit okay. like that. I think where he from, it puts you like Yay and Gohard. Right. It's the county. Like, you know what okay. I'm saying? It's just like any other hood. Like, you know, not a hood, but I'm saying like, you know how you in Camden, right? Let's right. just say Camden. I'm pretty sure Trenton got one of these yeah, too. Yeah, you yeah, can let like a little side. It's the town. next Jewin right over. Ewan would Whatever be that yeah, shit is, yeah, Ewan. You know what I'm saying? would be so that's the next yeah, little city. Yeah, that's where yeah. It's like a is. suburb. Like the, pe- the the people from the hood move there when they get a good job. There you go. But or just still trying got some to get out. out. If your mom can get you right, right there, she gonna try and get that's there. That's what's up. You know what I'm so I like that you kept it real and you ain't just jacking and be like, yeah, nigga, Sixth Street, nigga, you know what it is. Uh, and nobody no. know you on Sixth well, Street. I like it real. that. Bro. That's why the Camden shit really kind of went and it fit right. because it was like all them niggas who somebody out there and they shit, fuck with you. They know that already. Okay. So when I used to be trying to tell like the blogs to be posting mm-hmm. like Camden artists, like. If you go, if you could ask any of them bloggers, go in the DM. Right. And ask them to go in the DM and see what I said to him. Like, yo, dog. Yeah, I ain't, no. yeah, I ain't, I ain't from, from Camden. Camden. I'm from you Philly. see what I'm saying? So, uh, but they'll never, they'll ignore the shit out of me because I think when they come outside, when they, they see, see me outside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They'll be like, man, so I ain't listening to this. Probably nigga, with you know some real Camden niggas. That yeah, for okay. sure. It's a lot of niggas. Yeah. But like, that's and I'm going to keep it real. Like, that's where I started rapping. And that's kind of like the, the like, everybody know. Everybody yeah. know. But it's just like, that's just kind of like what, what's the what's the like right word to say when it's like it's like where, the where whole I came, team. yeah like that's the kind of yeah. like it's like the base when you the came base around found. them people like yeah. yeah like that was the competition like my right. competition wasn't yeah. the niggas from Philly or yeah and it was yeah. like Camden, Camden like niggas. the place where I was like so how did you get to Camden from Philly like uh, you, you well just, nah nah when I moved to Jersey I had moved out to the suburbs and okay shit, cool and I was living out there and, he just, and then when I came home I started cutting hair yeah and came when I came home from college I was at my fault no 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 no. I was yeah, about to say, hold on, wait, you was locked like, down. I was getting ready to tell you, nigga, you was no. down the bird, nigga, no, you was down. The, yo, Chris, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was you at? That's the first thing you said to me on the phone. Like, damn, where you been at? I thought you was I locked up. I thought you was locked like, up. Like, no, Gotta be locked up. But you went to college, right? I went to college, Nobody, yo. okay, so we don't like to skip on our show, but because he, he brought up college, tell the people where you went to college. Man, Morgan State. Hey, Liddy. They talking about Morgan Shout State. Shout out to my man, DJ Radio. DJ Radio went to Morgan State. That's the guy I was in Columbia oh, with. Right. He fucks with Morgan Heavy. Yeah, so. Morgan State. Man, I know, like, you know. And what did you go to school for? for? Like, I'm talking the about, like, bitches. what was your major? <laughs> Besides the bitches. Light skin <laughs> niggas always say the bitches, yo. The bitches. For real. Like, That's that what that I was shit. majoring in. No, Gynecology. Man, no, but no, all just saw Morgan, like, that shit got my heart. Cause right. like, did you? Stay I wasn't least, even there long, bro. I was say, did you I stay at least up, a semester? Yeah, one. Well, oh, you was terrible. <laughs> only did you one. Was there, you was just there, no, fucking. No, look, this what happened. Right. I had went there. I had to go to a um a summer program. Right. So I had graduated high school and went straight to the summer program. Okay. That's fine. Like a couple of days later. So I was there the whole summer. The whole summer. And then that whole first yeah. semester. So you burnt yourself out yeah. down there. Too knocking much. all the summer bitches just, off. Just. And then when the real motherfuckers came down, <laughs> they, like, they like, just don't on. fuck with Richie. He out here just Look, man, going that's crazy. Met, that's where I met my first baby. I had my wow. first son off of that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah. and that's kind of how Camden came about. Like, right. she from Camden. So you migrated out Came home, there. dealing yeah. with her all crazy, cutting hair, living out right. there with her. We was, we was out in Centerville. Right. Shit like that. And then it just was like, then okay. I just started bouncing everywhere. Bouncing man. around. It was just like, and then I started rapping. Okay. So, like, the first time I jumped on a DVD, it was a Camden DVD. Right. So, it was just started. That's where the yeah, look Yeah, so I can see at. where you got your roots off the rap and then in I was, Camden. Yeah, because I was at that, around that time. Because now you think about, now we talking about 2009, okay. 10. Yeah. So, now you think about that. So, now when niggas see you every day around, because you was I was living and there and all that. And you was in Camden. And I was cutting in there, too. Right. So, that's where it's like. Yeah, he from Camden. You I know what I'm saying? So, that's where it came from. But, no, like. You so know. who was some of your early influences in rap? Like who who got you, uh, like growing up? Like how early you want to go? I mean, because if we want to take it to if you want to take it to like a, a super duper young was like I, yeah I wanted to, we your first go Chris time Cross you saw it. first oh yeah Jump was easy yeah. that was the, I can't ignore Chris Cross yeah, Chris Cross was <laughs> I'm gonna say Chris Cross and then you wanted we, to be Daddy Mac or Mac Daddy which one because it ain't May was both it, it was, was lit, both wasn't like it? that to me I, I, I went to school with my clothes backwards right. and all that shit. <laughs> I was. I had the little that. buckshot shorties, like uh, yeah. the little. My mom smacked the shit out of me when yeah. I came home one day yeah. with them. But, See, I, my but mom they was, was influence. They was influence. My mom was different. My mom did the Adam. They was Look, ill though. I came back home. I right. remember getting off the bus and my clothes was regular. Right. 
she was my face was all bald. Right. She's she <laughs> like, yo, why you why you um got your, your clothes? Yeah, what happened backwards? to your clothes? No, they was on frontwards. Okay. She sent me to school backwards. Wow. And what so happened? she took me back up to the school and told the teacher if I sent him to school with his shit on backwards. He come home with his shit backwards. It's Don't change this shit around. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so before, other than Criss Cross, who else? Criss Cross. Now we're going to go up. Like when I really started falling in love, like Rock, I mean Rockefeller. Right, right. Rockefeller so you, made that's me a big want, jump. I, it's though. a big jump. It's a you big jump. All right, all right. So all right, I'm going to keep it real. So Anybody? Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let me give a shout out. All my niggas from Yeah and know this, bro. I'm going to just yeah. keep it real. Everybody that was from the county, everybody wanted to be a hot boy. Okay, yeah, Lil Wayne. We all wanted to be hot boys, and that was after jump. Everybody right. wanted to be a hot boy. Right. Okay. And I ain't gonna and I'm lie, talking that about was... that. We talking about guerrilla warfare. Right. Hot 400 boy. degrees. Yeah. Yeah. We gotcha. talking about that. Everybody okay. wanted to be a hot boy. So basically, you, you influence Criss Cross, Little Wayne, and then Rockefeller State yeah. Property. Dipset. You know, Dipset. It and goes we on. And crazy. And after like, that, it's, it's crazy. just music started to take over your life okay. around that time. All right. That's what's Somebody up. Somebody on here said they met you through their homie Cheese. Yeah. Mo Black said, I met Rich through my homie Cheese. Yeah, he sure. a solid nigga. You know Cheese? Cheese. It depends which cheese, but if we talking about my man Cheese, that's the nigga that started me right before. Okay, right, that's a fact. That's a fact, <laughs> bro. All right, so listen, uh, this is the segment of the show called Getting Juicy with hey, Jalene. Jalene is gonna give you the latest and the greatest gossip, cause that's all she do. Jalene, what you got for us today? Like, what's going on in these main uh, streets? First, we gonna talk about this shooting that happened in Texas. Okay, did you know um, about that, Rich? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your father, how'd you yeah. feel about that? Did sick. it make you feel a certain type of way? Yeah, you get sick to your. I mean, I don't know about it. you. Got kids? Yeah, I, I mean, got you kids probably, too. You ain't. You got no elementary school, right? Yeah, yeah I do. Oh, you I do. do. Got so, two, two little ones. Yeah. As soon as I see elementary, first thing you do is go to right. What elementary? So right. You seen Texas? And it's like, and you know, sh but at the same it's time, it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't like a quick like. Yeah. Oh, fuck them. So, like, no, you sick to your stomach all day. Yeah, so what happened? So the boy was 18 years old. Right. I think he, they claimed that he was being bullied before when he was in school, things okay. like that. So that's the reason behind why he did what he did. Right. But anyway, they say that he went to go kill his grandparent before he went to the actual school. So did he, did he succeed? I don't know if he accomplished that because obviously they're not talking right. about too much of that because they're talking about all the children. Was he white? Yes, of course he was. He was? No, he looked Mexican. He did look like some type of Mexican, Mexican though. I'm not yeah. sure. Nah, we got to confirm on that. Um, he, he looked white. white and he looked white. Mixed. Yeah, he, he might be mixed. White. He definitely but had to be like Mexican. It was like a... Juicy like, like this. Like don't, don't you put that on the Latinas. Yeah. Now, we're uh, we're black. I'm Puerto Rican. I don't real. care if he was but Mexican. we ain't going to kill a 600 people. He's Puerto Yeah, but the whole school looked like they was Mexican. Yeah, it looked like it was like... But Texas is usually where... Yeah. So did any, uh, did any teachers die? Uh, two. Two, teachers. two teachers. I died. think it was two teachers okay. and like 18 or 19 children. Wow, that's a shame. Um, Could you yeah, imagine we, getting that call while you at work? No. Don't come up and don't come and pick up There's no Johnny. way I'm not going. Because little Johnny but they wasn't did not him, make it. They wasn't letting them go. They wasn't letting, letting them in, but like they said, ancient. look, I read some shit today. They parents. said the cops mm -hmm. was going in, grabbing their own kids, but and wasn't letting them parents yeah. go grab their kids. Yeah, oh, they was going in, taking their kids out, and not, yep. Mm -hmm. hey, that's that's crazy. Nasty. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. a shame. It's just like, I can imagine, I mean, just when you think about it, I noticed that I dropped my kids off the next day at school, and Jersey got police officers at the school. And that's and, good thing. And they, they were sure. doing it statewide. Every state. But how long is it going to last? I don't know. When does it come into play where we actually but, put safety but in But I'm going to tell you what it is. Like it's, they knew that right after something happens like that, there's copycats. Right. You know, somebody say, oh, did he did that. I'm going to take my shot to school right. and shoot the Jersey schools up and shoot the New York but schools. But you feel like that? So, I, don't, I don't really be feeling like that. What? I be feeling like niggas be like. You never really going to catch it. Like, I don't think nobody going to ever try to run down on the supermarket again. Like, he did that. You see nah, what I'm saying? Nah, like, I be feeling it's like they always be switching. Like, you like, can't oh, you never. Got away with it, I could probably do it. Right. Yeah, but I feel like they be picking different locations. Like, you can't never put your hands on it. Like, they be so scattered yeah. with that shit. That's crazy, man. But listen, my heart go out to uh, all the families in Texas. Whoever yes. lost somebody, sure. um, the teachers who put themselves on the front line to try to protect Actually, those kids. Actually, one of the teachers, okay. her husband died the, like the next day of a heart attack. Okay, just off of love. 
probably was Broken the love heart. of his life. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. Dying. Imagine being imagine being at work and say, don't even come to pick up your wife because she's gone. And y'all might have three kids at home. Right. You used to her cooking and cleaning mm-hmm. the whole routine. Now that's that done. You done. become a single father in a matter of, a matter of seconds. Mm-hmm. So. Um, like I said, you better not lie. Podcast sends our condolences out to all the families. Uh, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Nobody. Um, you know, kids are innocent. You know, they they you know bullets flying at kids is something they probably never would ever imagine. Can you imagine how scared you know those I mean? children were? Crazy. Yo. I, I would have yeah. been scared as a grown ass man, nigga, coming in with an assault rifle so to some. Imagine bah, 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 bah. You know elementary kids. Yeah, that's crazy. My man. son, my son, not was even a, understanding. He was in school with last week. I think someone had got shot near the high. Right. In Camden? So he, yeah, you so got a kid that lives in Camden? He go to school. He go to um, Forest Hill. He okay. go next to, you know what I'm saying? Right next, next to Camden High. High. Wow. Yeah. So right. it's like, he was in school, and I called him. Yeah. And I knew they was doing So I could hear it in the background or something. They was doing He like, what's going on, Dad? What's going right. on? <laughs> so, like, just that little moment, even though I had everything under control, told right. him to chill. He, you know, his mom about to come get you. Don't worry about it. Right. It's like when I thought about that a week prior, and it just thought about. Can you imagine them little kids when they hear them gunshots yeah. and they like just shook, seeing teachers shook, the people yeah, they look yeah. up to, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that shit nasty. Like yeah, I don't I wish, that, I don't wish that on nobody. Right. nobody we need, we need to practice, uh, you know, uh, safety patrol with our kids at home, letting them know, like if if a what gunman comes in the house or come to school, what to do, not to panic, not to oh my. Because that'll get you shot when right. you're just running mm-hmm. and screaming and, and making know yourself yeah. known. I actually you see on I mean? TikTok, I know yeah. this is some lady got a book bag for her child that right. is, it has a bulletproof um, like pad in it that they can right. take out. That's tough. And, like, use. and just cover for Yeah, she stuff? said her husband found it for their daughter. And it for, works? Yeah, yeah. it's that's like tough. really bulletproof. Okay, that's man, that's crazy. I All right, so company, but what else we got going on? I, I um, heard about some crazy monkey pox or monkey something. Pox. They uh, like. Big look like huge pimples. Now they first they hit us with Corona. Now some shit called monkeypox that is 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 uh, coming to the U S. from Africa. From Africa. And I heard when I looked online. Nah, I ain't letting them do that though. But let me tell you, <laughs> I ain't letting I'm gonna tell you what it, look, it look no crazy. Africa. Look, when it's, this episode drop, we are gonna have the picture on the screen. It's, it's like, but they're saying that it came from two. Gay lovers in Africa. Of course, nah. right? But they, I'm going to tell you of what course, they did. Right? What they did was they touched a Come monkey or some type of animal. They said it can get on your membranes. You, it lives on surfaces and everything. But it's Hell real, though. There's yeah, one yeah. case in New Jersey. There's one case in the U.S. right now. <clears throat> if you Google it, it's one case. And it comes from somehow touching the fluid of this infected animal. Hey, yo, I want Akon to tap in yeah, and man. give us the truth on this joint. I'm not, hey, going, I'm not going for none of this shit. Let's yeah. Akon tap into the You Better Not Lie podcast man, we need and that. keep so, it real because yeah, he, yeah. he the one that really lets you know about Africa. Right. And he be trying to let us know that all that shit is old. Like all right. these pictures they be showing us. I ain't right. never been to Africa. Right. But all the pictures they show us, that shit old. We thinking yeah. they wrong. You would go to run. South Africa. With I, with I, would go to, I would that. go to, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You mean I would be put there, but I would fuck with the whole Africa because right. I be feeling like they they so quick to say some dumb ass shit like uh-huh. that. Like, come on, man. I agree. Ain't walking around with that shit like right. when you want to put it on the Africans. No. Right. Fuck course, that. They then, made that and shit. Then on right. top of that, they gonna say it came from gay lovers. Yeah, yeah they said it came from. A gay and they so touched the monkey while they, they was doing the monkey, it, and it the rubbed. Monkey it. Must no. have joined. Something happened. The monkey must have joined. Yeah, yeah, so they, they had sex business. with they had a little monkey. monkey business. Oh little monkey my business. god! Something went down. I don't know what happened, but the some, monkey. It's a lot of freaking shit going on in that. Yo, I know it's a thing, but like, women that watch like YouTube to look at horse dicks. I mean, they're pretty Have big. <laughs> Juicy been watching horse dicks too. So I look don't. At hold on, hold on. I just said. I just Juicy I'm just said. Like, they kind of. I used- just said. I know women that watch YouTube to look at horse you dicks. You know you and Juicy see said, videos. I can't lie. So they're y'all pretty big. Me on Facebook or nothing. So what are you y'all thinking, never Juicy? Seen video. Or you better not lie. What are you thinking when you see a horse dick? You like, damn. That's kind of big, ain't you? Kinda, like, but what are you thinking? It, but are you thinking like, damn, if he wasn't a no, horse? Ew. No, ew. Like I that? wouldn't even let nobody wouldn't think that big touch me. What? It gonna hurt my insides. So size don't matter. That's gonna hurt my insides though. But if I'm he just got saying, a horse. Th- you, yeah, I got Juicy blushing over here. Juicy, a try a horse dick. Don't listen. <laughs> no, to I will not. Keep it like this, look. <laughs> that's if I if ain't nobody gonna find too, out, I will not be able to handle that. I'm gonna go fuck on Mr. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> 
She was getting fucking shit out of Mr. Ed. If no, I will find not. Out. Mr. Anyway, Ed, like I said. Mm. All right, so back to my man Rich. Um, Rich, listen, we talked about uh, your early influence in rap. We talked about, um, you know, um, you know where you came from, but we didn't talk about how did you get the name Richie Workhorse. So, like, who gave it to you? I gave it to myself. Self reclaimed. Yeah. Richie Workhorse. Yeah. I, when I first started rapping, that wasn't yeah. my rap name. My rap name was Rich For Real. Rich For Real. I was about to say, that wasn't it like Rich For Real, real right? yeah. or Rich something? Because yeah. I and remember. And you spelled it different. So how you spelled it For Real? No, I was put the four. I know you put the four. I got some ice cream shit like this. Like you, you thought it had an F. Yeah. Why it's four, like, nigga. But I ain't. It was like, I was, I was running with it. And it All just. Right. It, for real, for real, my man gave me that name. Because when I wanted to rap. Right. I. I I can't think of, I couldn't think of no name, but okay. I just wanted to start. Okay. So he was like, yo, here, I came up with this, run with this, you can always change your right. shit. I never ended up changing that shit. And I'm like, I'm going with it. But when I'm going to the places where I'm going out, right. I'm shopping my shit, the DJs is on there, and they like, rich, fool. Like, everybody was fucking it up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was just making yeah, my yeah. shit sound corny. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. And every time I'm cringing, every single time they yeah. saying my name, I'm like, yo, you don't like this name. You got to switch it. Yeah. So one time I mm -hmm. had a, a freestyle. Was my, I went over the Meek Mill Cream beat. Right. Oh, And fire. right when I went over that beat, before I went to go rap, the beat about to drop, and I just screamed Workhorse. Mm. I don't know why. Right. But I just screamed Workhorse. And you workhorse. like how they sound together. What? As soon as I did that <laughs> shit, I'm like, oh, I got to find transition. Yeah. So at every song from there, I yeah. made sure Workhorse, Workhorse. Right, right, right. And I just transitioned everybody right to that. Okay. And then on my next tape, I just put, I ain't even say nothing. I just took the words from Rich, Richie Workhorse. And that's how you and got dropped it. dropped that shit and just kept it pushing. Everybody rolled with All it. All right, that's dope. Now, earlier when I heard about you, like, I was seeing stuff online. And I think the vibe you was giving me when you first started rapping was more like a, um, uh, what's my man name from Philly? Light-skinned dude that got all the hits. Um, he do the singing. Rap. I should have had some hits, right? But I'm talking about, what's his name, though? Skinny oh. boy with the big ears? Skinny boy with the big ears. What's the guy name from Philly that sing? He down Ain't with he from uh Philly? He, he ain't from Philly. He got the hits. Like selfish. He sings selfish. Oh, P and B rock. You give you gave me P and B rock vibes. Really? I'm gonna tell you why. I don't why. get that. I don't your get hooks, that vibe because your you know, hooks I, were melodic. Yeah. People came to you for the hooks. But I don't think that that nah. that, that like ended up coming more towards later. The end. But that's when yeah, I got on yeah, to you. Okay. Yeah. I got on to you where you, know, you remember when we talked, I was like, yo, you did yeah, that hook? Yeah. He was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's me, nigga. That's what I'm into. I do the hooks. I, I rhyme. Yeah. But I was like, yo, the, the, the melodic with the crazy hook, Yeah. it wasn't saying you was going straight for the girls. It's just yeah. like you gave it like a, you gave your rap like a, a street melodic feel yeah, that I yeah, fucked for with. for sure. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I seen you doing that, I'm like, damn, that's different right it's there. Different, that's different. Yeah. He got a look. The ladies like him. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he might win. You feel yeah. me? So... You had a run. Yeah. I'm seeing you in the studio. You fucking with your mans. Yeah. Everywhere you at, they at. Yeah. Mob behind you. For sure. Then it went cold. It went cold. Why it went cold? It's a lot of reasons, but I'm going to stick to the, like, you do this music shit, it's really a grind. You can get in your head. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could be in your head a lot. I'm one of them niggas. I'm always in my head too much. Um, right. Dealing with Don't be safe for you better than a lot Right. No, no, no. Why no, are you no, disappearing? The people want to know. Dealing with motherfuckers, like, I'm going to be right. real. You dealing with, like, we dealt with a lot of bullshit off just trying to be solid. You right. feel me? Like, even as as my squad just did doing business with other people. Right. You feel me? The business ain't being dealt with the right way. Okay. And me, for real, for real, I put too much trust into other people. Right. And I always do that. And yeah. I'm going to keep it real. The squad always tell me, stop doing it. I find yeah. a producer... I be falling in love, trying to lock in and just yeah. want to do this. Well, and these niggas see? don't be on the same type of time. And then the niggas be like, yo, stop doing that. Yeah. And then I be like, no, no, but I trust this nigga. Like, this the yeah. one that's going to help me. Because I, I like to just keep everything tight. I don't like people around me. I don't like right. a lot. I don't like to be like, just, you know, I don't fuck with everybody. And I know a lot of people say that, but yeah. I really don't like being around a lot of different people. How long would you say you went for the hiatus? Well, well was it wasn't. I'm gonna be real. Man. I'm gonna be real. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like something that was like purposely done. It was like, I I had like shit just got funny and then COVID came. Right. And then when COVID came, shit was it just started. To, everything started to get pushed back. Then you know, like a days ago, then right. life hit had another baby during right. all that shit. Right. So it's like, damn. And it just became like 
you find yourself making excuses. Right. You start feeling like shit ain't the same. Right. And, it, and next do you know, you done looked up and two years done went by. Were you and you're depressed like, Yo, at what all? the fuck was you doing? Were you, with, were you dealing with any depression? Shit, hell yeah. Like that shit still, Talk like I, I told you, bro, I said when I went, when we was on the phone, <laughs> I said, hey, bro, I ain't even planning on coming on here. Right, but you I did. Said, it I took said, a lot of convincing. I he said, was like, yo, I got to get a haircut. Yo. I'm like, my nigga, you rich, yo. you work close. But I like, said, I just <laughs> was like, you know what? This my first time, like right. this, this my step forward to saying, you know what? It's time to get back. Yeah, like Got we ain't you. gonna we ain't gonna wait till next week to do this or right. like I said, if I don't call you, bro, please call me and make yeah, me I come stayed up on here. you. Yeah. I stayed, but I, I was subtle with it. Like, yeah. what's good? You still in? Yeah, I wasn't like, yo, no. my nigga, what's good? Yeah, I was no, just like, but I wanted you, know you to do that because it's like, yo, after this, I gotta turn up, and I want right. anybody that support me, right? Anything like that. Y'all got every right to be on my ass to make sure that I keep right. pushing and shit because I need y'all. Like, just like, I got the music, but here we go. I got to admit this. During the hiatus, right. I never stopped working. Yeah. It's mad music. You just ain't release it. I never stopped working. I just like did. I just not in your face. I wasn't yeah. posting on a gram. Right. I wasn't in at the studios that everybody go to. Right. I wasn't doing that. But I've been recording. Shout out to Nook Beats. Me yeah. and Nook Beats locked all the way in. Right. But do you understand as an artist that it's imperative that you stay on Instagram? For sure. I mean, even if you're going to buy a pair of sneakers, <laughs> you, you you doing that in the gram. You got to give them your lifestyle. I, I mean, just look at what me? you look at what you said when you say, "Damn, bro, you had the ball rolling." Yeah. How I know it wasn't somebody looking at me. How I know it wasn't exactly. neighbors looking at me. And then, it just, and then, then it's like, damn, what yeah, happened to him, bro? True. I really was about to reach out to Stop him. Stop right there. Tell the people you said that you had a relationship with Wallow, or you knew him. No, no. You knew him, right? No, no. I just, I met him. You met him? Yeah. And when you met him at the height when shit was clicking. All right, so right? me and my man was taking off. He, he was fresh, like, home type right. shit, Wallow, right? Okay. And... Me and my man was going to pick his daughter up from Virginia. Right. Or something. We was meeting somebody where he get his daughter, bring her back to Jersey. So we had the rest stop, mind you. We moving at that time. This is the time you're talking about. We moving. I got snacks and CDs in my lap. Right. right. So we had a rest stop. I got pissed. We see Wallow. Now, right. This when he just, he just he on the on, ground man. waking he, up in the he, rain. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. when <laughs> he's still trying to get his shit, but he doing shit. Right, right. And he catching my attention because right. he motivating right. me at that right. time. So I had the song. I had Rumble. Yeah, I'm like, that's damn, my song. I gotta, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get this Rumble Hell, shit. Oh, Rich Horse, oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, me. Yo. You a hater? Yeah, I'm like, yo, I <laughs> got, I'm like, yo, I gotta get this Rumble to this nigga. Right. So he in there, he in there going to the bathroom, whatever. I'm like, yo, I'm waiting, bro. When he come yeah. out, give it to him. We on top. He yeah. come out, yo, introduce myself. I give it to him. That's that, right? Right. Like I don't know when, but. I'm going to just say six, eight months, maybe a year later, I do Gilly Showcase with right. him and Wallow. Okay. I go up in there and do the showcase, and um, I burn that shit down. Now, now I'm going to keep it real. Gil did some shit, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better so, not lie. so, look, I'm about to right. keep it for me. So, it was some other niggas in there. They right. were, I think they was from West Philly. Right. And he came on stage, and he was like, yo, y'all won. Like, he could let them win. And so, yeah. I'm sitting in there. I'm like, damn, like, I knew I burnt this shit down. Like, right. I knew I won. Like, I, in my heart, I knew what I yeah. did. So did the I'm crowd like, react to you? Yeah, All man. Right. Matter of fact, I remember it, that's where I met the boy, Mary Malik. Shout out to okay. Mary Malik. I know he trying to get back on his feet. Right. And he was screaming in the crowd. Like, that's how I met the boy from, from like, burning from, that shit down. Right. And he was like, um, you know that I should have won or whatever. So, get on stage, and he say they won. But as soon as he done saying they won, he like, but hold on. Where would you work or say? I'm Facts. in the back. Come up here. Wow. I'm going to do this feature for you. I'm going to do this, this and that. Come up here. We're going to get this done. Damn. So it was like whatever he owed them young boys, he gave it to them. Right. But he also let me know, like, I see you, bro. Right. Like, and you know what I'm saying? That was love. That was, was real nigga shit right so there. So when I got up there, I seen Low. And yeah. I'm like, yo, Low, you don't remember I gave you the um, CD? Like, damn, I just came home. It was love. We took pictures. Right. We left that shit alone. So recently, mind you, this is So now recently... I met the Cam the High game with my son in the state championship right. game. Low there. Right. I see him. And now it's been some years. But I walk by him. I'm like, I'm not going to not say nothing. I don't know if he remember me or not. So he see me. I just shake his hand like, dang, he don't even remember me. That's, that nigga don't say nothing, but why you stop? Mm. See that? 
That nigga ain't, he ain't say no hype shit like, Damn. oh, Richie Workhorse, yeah, I remember you, or this and that. Yeah. That nigga hit me with that real wallow shit. Why you stop? And, and let that be a lesson to all you out there who get discouraged. Your people that's around you not supporting you. Your day ones don't listen to your music. They don't share it on your platform, on a platform. And when you stop, everybody that was rooting for you, when they see you, they're going to ask you the same thing. Why mm-hmm. you stop? You got to keep going for you. Fuck what everybody else saying. Thanks. I don't care if you got two likes. Somebody watching that shit. You yeah. feel me? For so sure. when you told me that on the phone, that was powerful because it just let me know that even though Lowe may not have gave you a deal, bought you in a round situation, but he probably loved to see you uploading new content yeah. in the streets with your gang, moving around. Yeah, you know what I'm for saying? Sure. That shit means something to somebody. And, and you, you know, know like I mean? I'm tired and like, you know, get, you know, mac and cheese. Shout right, out to right, mac right. and cheese. Right. Shout out to Mac. That's my, you know, that's my that's young, young boy. boy. I, when I was cutting hair, he was, right. when he was. I a little to, boy. Yeah, yeah, I used to be getting up on his joint before he go to powerhouse <laughs> sometimes. Right, right, right. When he was a young boy. But shout okay. out to him because him and his brother, they doing their thing over there. Okay. Juicy, how you know this guy? <laughs> <laughs> From around. Are you from around? Like yeah, from, around from the city. Uh, so He's not from, from around my way, but, you but seen yeah. Him around. Yeah. Okay. Right, Actually, cool. I got hip to his music because right. of somebody that I knew, and okay. then I ended up following him on social Instagram. media, okay. and then we just became cool. Oh, that's cool. So you know about Rumble? I do. That, that song. That I had the CD. You, you know the CD? CD you say was oh yeah, out? yeah. That, you was yeah, I had one of them too. Yeah. Check it out. This, was you yeah. banging it when you used to see him? My nigga, police listen to your music, nigga. You that nigga. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Police like your shit, nigga. You that nigga. But anyway, like I said, um, so we talked about your relationship with uh, Gilly Wallow, your come up, your, how you got your name. But more importantly, I want to talk about me and used to have like brief conversations where we would talk about family. How does family affect your grind with the music? And I'm and I mean like relationships, ups and downs, yeah. kids. Like, did that play a part in you also taking a hiatus from the game? Yeah, 100%. You know, I got three boys. Right. So it's like, you know, it's like. All different moms? Yeah. Well, Just got, like a light-skinned yeah. nigga. Yeah, come on, man. Ice tea. You, you want some Peter, Peter Gunn shit. But, <laughs> but it's like, it's just like, it's, it's them situations where it's like, you, them kids, man, them kids. Right. That, that's all I can say, them kids, but. Me sometimes I don't really like speaking on it because right. it's like well you don't have to no 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 nah, nah, I'm not talking about that I'm talking about more as though like speaking on bringing family and stuff mixing it with the grind because at the end of the, at, at the end of right. all bro that shit really to somebody that that made it or them people in them buildings it just sound like an excuse excuse you well, see I what like I'm that. saying so like at the that. end of the day like I could tell you about it I yeah. could tell you how it affected me I right. could tell you why this happened and why she get the fuck on my nerves right, and I right, can't right, come right. get him on Friday really? and all this <laughs> yeah, other yeah. shit I could break it all down right. to you but the people that's that's gonna give me a bag for what I do they don't care they about don't that give a fuck they only about want that. hits they don't only give a fuck hits. about that so now that you know that what what's next for Richie. It's different now because, like I said, when I got, well, like, for instance, my son, he like, what you about to do? Before I come, I'm yeah. about to go get on the podcast. So I knew he was going to, I sent him a flyer. Right, right, right. You got to. Because he's banging the joint. Like, he like, ooh, got soup. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. didn't think he was going to be that soup. So shout out to Cash. Right, right. But you know what I'm saying? It was like. And how, this is your oldest. This is my oldest. Yeah, and it's so like, he, been, he been there. He but, been there. But, he, but you also put him yeah. on, like, music. Like, yeah. had him on the right. studio yeah, saying he your name been and things. Like, so so he, he, he liked to see you. So, and, but now for him to be older. How old is Cash now? He at least 15? He eight. Oh, okay. Because you talk like Cash, like the OG. Yeah. Like, he eight? Yeah, he eight. But, like, now when you got your son coming to you and he like, Yo, dad, I know what you meant and rumble about this. Yeah. And I'll be like, and he'll break down my lyric to me. And I'll be like, wow. Damn, this shit important. So, like, now this time around, there's certain things I don't want to rap about. You know right. what I'm saying? There's certain things, like, it's messages that I may not be able to get to him when I'm like, yo, you got to grind. Yo, you got to right. do this. He play ball. Yo, right. you got to do every day. But it's like. And maybe I ain't gonna yell at him no more. I'm gonna just throw it in the music. Cause right. I'll be like, yo, who you listen to? I listen to you. That's and it's and it's down, crazy. Man. It's crazy yeah, because yeah, you, he be a hey, dude, yeah. but he be saying shit to me like, yo, dad, who like this was probably like a couple months ago when I'm just I'm fucked up. And then right. he, he like, who number one rapper? He like, little baby number one, ain't he? He like, what number is you? Ooh, <laughs> fire. 
I, I love your Shout son already. Yeah, I love your son. But now nah, he, he want to see where your confidence yeah, like, like what number is you? Because you might be coming home from work like, nigga, I ain't even on that list. Yeah. Having a bad day. Yeah. You got to be like, nigga, I'm number one. I just ain't got the check. Yeah. He like to hear that. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, shout out to them. They they definitely right. tune into the music and you know, I just don't this time I don't wanna make no like you said, we get older. It's a right. grind, bro. I'm yeah, I'm here, bro. I'm about to just like they gonna say. But let me ask you this too. I got another question. Now that the music has changed from I mean, you always had that melodic feel, but now it's all the way left. It's yeah. like the auto tune button is broke. Yeah. You feel me? Like niggas is going in. Like everybody's singing. Everybody's melodic. <clears throat> Gangsters is wearing skinny jeans and they got thirties in them. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like that's the new thug. For the sure. singing nigga yeah. will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. So how do you fit in with that shit right now? Yo, I'm, I'm, I've always, with? I've always been myself. Like, and, and, and I know a lot of people, people, a lot say, of people that. say that. Everybody say, say that. yo, you yeah. just be yourself. Yo, you just do this and that. But if you actually go look, and that's yeah. the part, if you actually go look, you don't really hear me talking about killing nobody or doing yeah, this nah. and that. That was never my music. Right. It's like, I'm not as conscious as a cold. Right. But I ain't as like, I don't really know. It's like a medium for me. Like, it's right. like. I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I for real, I be feeling like I'm perfect for real. Yeah. For real. Like, <laughs> when it comes to like that, that, when it comes to like that, that middle, I feel like I'm for the fly niggas. Like, and I'm not yeah. talking about like drippy fly niggas. Yeah. I'm talking about like that, just with that the bars, cool and ass just nigga, cool like just dressing. Yeah, chill, like it's, stay it's out not. The way. Yeah, I'm right. for the. There you go. To stay out the way, niggas. <laughs> no. I like that too. You that's the one sick. that's off the porch, but not really off the porch. Yeah, I'm saying, come, nigga that got come a listen. Job with a legal fire right. Yeah, come listen you know to horse. <laughs> that's me. The nigga got a job because I want a legal fire on. Because I want to talk to niggas catch about fire, nigga. Yeah, I yeah. want to talk to niggas about being smart. Right. Right. I want you. I want people to start moving smart. Right. Like I said, my son, he gonna watch this interview. He gonna listen to this. If I'm gonna say some shit, I want I want to be able to stand on it. Right. I ain't gonna be up here talking all this crazy shit, and then he I gotta tell him to turn it off. Like, right. no, I want you to hear what your pop got to say when okay. he get in front of these microphones. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna we gonna stand on everything that we say. Like, never try to be too tough. Never try to be, but we not pussies. Like, we just at right. the end of the day, we men. So you gonna handle your business like a man when it's time to do that. Yeah. That's nothing. That's that that don't gotta be explained. That don't have to be. That's nothing. Like right. that's what you have to do. That's this life. You would get trampled that's if you're true. not a man. Thanks. Okay. So just be a man. At the end of the day, that's all you gotta do. Okay. Um. Also, too. Um. We talked about Oskino. You had a record For with sure. Oskino, and I wanted to tell. I want to talk to the people about how did you meet Oskino? Reached out. DM. DM. Just on, off of Instagram. Yo, it's crazy. He don't even remember. He commented on something before one day. Right. I woke up. I was sleep on, on one of my drones, and my shit was. Blowing up on the ground. Yeah. And he don't remember that shit, but he commented something on one of my bars. I said right. something crazy and he right. commented on it. Okay. And then I reached out to do a record and we did a record and like I don't got no rap friends or nothing. Right. Like he the only nigga that ever taught me anything. Can we go into that record? Hey. Is it on YouTube? It let's just grind. Yeah. Hey Rick. If you could go on YouTube and play Let's Just Grind by Richie Workhorse and, and, um, and Old Skino. I want to tap into that. I mean, he gave you some bars on there? I mean, he was talking. He was talking? Yeah. Almost done, Juice. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. O, o, o was talking. O, o was definitely, <laughs> o was oh, definitely talking. You know what I'm saying? He definitely was talking. Oh. That's what's up. Man. You got a lot of solid relationships with niggas. Philly, man. Like that's your second home. First, but okay. I'm talking about like as far as because you you yeah. want to talk about it. Philly, I love my Philly niggas, but I just think it takes a lot for them to embrace. Let's just things. grind, nigga, go on, man. let's just grind. But, um, we could talk about. Let's yeah, just grind, nigga, go on, let's just grind. But I'm about to, for let's sure. Grind, you already nigga, know, Richie Workhorse feature, old skin, old. Let's just grind. Right. If you know, you know. Let's get it. Never 
home. I made my way out on my own. This is what I always like. My niggas out here on they grind. I'm fucking grind. And nigga, we ain't waste the time. Ain't got the time. You niggas, please don't get carried away. You get carried away. Niggas hustle, they live in fast. We don't get paid today. Niggas frauds, I can't applaud. I just stay out the way. Niggas talking, but they be pussy. I ain't worried today. I swear to God, when I get on, I'ma do this for my squad. But for the niggas that was hating, man, it's fuck you every time. I'ma do it till we straight. Niggas always gonna shine. My niggas always gonna shine. Let's just grind, nigga, go and let's just grind. Let's just grind, nigga, go and let's just grind. Let's just grind, nigga, go and let's just grind. Cause we ain't wasted time no more. Ride around in that Batmobile, change lanes, Bruce Wayne. Mr. T Mike's Mohawk, song, eight, nine, ten chains. Bitch, bass, Apollonia, and I'm dipping up purple rain. Fettuccine, that Lamborghini, I can't believe it, it's Chase. Chase, we started out at the bottom, bottom. Now the Lambo just be crawling. Started off selling no cottage, cottage. Wake up to Hillary, bottom, bottom. Baby, grand in my dining room, rim brands on my wall. That's the shit that we visualize, make us grind hard like dogs. Hating on us, just stop that. Pockets felt like they lined back. Clean the beam, I'm flexing on them like bicep. Yeah, time, yeah, all boy. Rose go Royal, all hard to mark. We up, no homie, ain't like four. Tell her do it, she will like call the four. I'm grinding, grinding this perfect diamond. You see me shining these perfect diamonds. I'm eating Simon, don't need a wallet. My bank account, no comma, comma. My made back white like Obama, mama. This new cabana, my shoes are proud of. My shorty bad, her name Madonna. You bought the drama, we bought the dollar. Let's grind, grind, grind. Let's just grind, nigga, go on, let's just grind. Let's just grind, nigga, go on, let's just grind. Just yeah, 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 that was the record with my man Richie Workhorse and Oskino, uh, formerly a state prop. You know what I mean? That was a big record. Yeah. Refreshing. Yeah. I think it still could work today. For sure. Did the video ever happen? For sure. The video's on YouTube? Hard. Make sure y'all check that joint out, man. Richie Workhorse got some, some work in these streets that y'all probably ain't tap into yet, but it's still, it's, it's that good work, man. You know, like that stay real um, nice and, and um and, and preserved in the packaging, like you know what yeah, I mean. Man. So he it know. is what it is, man. But listen, man. Um, this is uh the segment of the show called Question hey. of the Day. I what know you going got? like what this one. This, this is a good one right here. All right. So we was talking about the bro code earlier, right? right? Yeah, we. we and did. I just want to know. I want to talk to people to find out is the bro code or the whole code? Because there's a whole code too. Uh, well, I don't know the whole code. The whole I'm code not is a between you and your hoes. Like, uh, do y'all fuck on each other niggas? Girl code? No, we call it the whole code. It's the bro okay, code well, and the whole I, code. I don't call you don't it the whole code, code? Y'all be How y'all call each other bitches, but y'all don't call each other hoes? I don't call nobody a bitch. You don't call nobody a bitch? No. Like, oh, that's my bitch. You don't do that? No. Juicy line. Anyway, the bro code and the whole code. Is it valid these days, or is there certain parameters where you can not honor the bro code and still be... And it can still be your man. <clears throat> so explain real quick. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to give you a scenario. Can I give you a scenario? Yeah, sure. We want right, here here go talk. one scenario. Okay, so let's just say I'm at the club, me and Richie, right? I bag a drink, Richie. Yeah. I bag her. You with me, though. Yeah. I bag her. She nice, though. Nice. Super. You like this, nigga. If I wasn't in the bathroom, I missed her by a millisecond. You yeah. feel me? Sometimes I, she picked the wrong friend. Sometimes though. she yeah. could pick the wrong mother. <laughs> See where you go that's with cool. This, you gotta, like, and that's fine. Sometimes and that's fine. she picked the wrong and, friend. And, and, and that's fine. She can pick the wrong friend. But at the same time, if my man Richie come out and she see him and she still don't choose him, then she got the right guy. You feel me? Because sometimes she could be like, damn, you kind of cute. But, but damn, if she already took fine. your number and yeah. stuff like that, but it's wait, not it's like still like that. You can, yeah. though. No, we you can Yeah, but I just begged yeah, you. So now. Go like that. Go ahead, like go ahead. Finish uh, your yeah, finish finish it. I'm sorry. It's, it's a little energy always I'm coming. T- I'm it's, going, it's, 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 you know I'm going to vouch for these it's women. It's always a little I'm Haiti going to vouch energy. for these women. You heard of Haiti? This is Haiti <laughs> over here. This is the city. This is Haiti. The country Haiti. I'm going to vouch but for anyway, these women. But anyway, like I said, said to my um, podcasters out there, listen, me and Richie in the club, we in Vera. It's shaking in Vera. The walls, we in there hand I in hand. I see him performing Vera before. Okay, uh, listen. Put the pom poms <laughs> down, <laughs> bruh. Hey. Put them down, slime. Like, give me a second. Let me, let me get them to my dougie. I'm Dougie's. just saying you brought it up. Oh, Richie, Richie. <laughs> you so corny. Why are you like All right, listen, I'm fucking I'm fuck with you. Anyway, so me and my man in Vera for the third time. We in Vera. I, I grabbed it, right? So I'm, I'm at the crib. And I'm t- look, one thing we fuck up to. We come back and give details. You think it's good to give details on a bro code? Like, details, should I tell like my man like her... how how good the pussy was? Should yeah, I tell you my man? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. 
Should, should I that, tell my man? Depends how you feel about it. But if I come to you and be like, yo, Prince, that thing through the moon. What's wrong with that? Does it? But okay, so now I told you, right? Yeah. Now I'm doing a couple of dates. I'm doing Grand Lux. I done got Tinder. Grand Lux. Yeah, huh. I done spent through the Grand Lux. You ever been to Grand Lux? Yeah. Right, you been to the Taco Truck, but regular. I mean, man, Lux is Look, even Rich regular. agree with me, regular. Don't try to act like that's still a two hundred and twenty dollars bill. Then they close down. All the niggas that been to Grand Lux that bill it's not even open anymore. That, if we gonna spend that two twenty, we ain't going to Grand Lux with it. Right. Okay, so would you, would you, give me give me something else. Well, R two L they shut down. I didn't do R two L thirty seven Floyd Breaks. Don't try to talk to me like I because you black skin. You can pay a little extra. Luxury. I'm you can pay a little extra being and go to. Capital Grill or something. Yeah. Nigga, with the Grand. Capital Grill after Grand Grand Lux is more high scale than Capital Grill. I know. They sell Salisbury steak. What? Yeah. <laughs> Tell it. Yeah, just because Poppy bought that don't mean that <laughs> you know, I ordered that. We never that. went Nigga, there. We looking at the other We never the went other there. Side. Anyway, can I get my shit off? It's just yeah, a joke. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> she always do that. But anyway, I'm ready for it. Anyway, I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm whining and dining and they're chilling. We at the crib. We doing Netflix and everything a lot. Then, all of a sudden, boom, you see her out at the Quaker Bridge Mall, Cherry Hill Mall, and you slide up. Because you know she ain't my lady, but I'm feeling her. Is there a bro code where you you can slide up because she you ain't my, my man, girl? You my man, you my man, right? What if she come on to you? You not you my man, right? What if she come on to you? Is you my man? I'm your man. You not just like some not nah, just I'm not I'm not an associate. I'm your, I, 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 you I'm your one of your day type one. Of, yeah. yeah. There's nothing she, she can come do with on me. to you, you telling me. Bro, there's nothing she can do Are you telling me? Whether I do or not, it's nothing she can do with oh, me. Okay. You my man, bro. I'm not gonna do that. And I might say something, I might not. Because right. at the end of the day, it's just gonna be corny. Like right. if I say something to you, right? It might be. Even if that's your homie, sometimes your homies can act corny and, and shit. draw it out. So now he gonna be like, dang, you try to talk to my man. Now she with her girlfriends and she catch me out and she like, look at this corny ass nigga went and told that nigga that right. I'm right. trying to talk to. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta shut the fuck up. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? So right. I just shut the fuck up. No, look. I'm, you know what y'all know. Right. That's your man now. If you be like, yo, bro, you yeah. done with that shit. And she was just a sly. Right. And it was cool. And I catch her on a humbug maybe and three years different. later or some shit. Right. Squash her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm squashing. As, as you should. So, I guess you're a brother that honors the bro code. But we all sure. know that there's some guys out there that ain't. But it's Operate. different. But, Do you ever, have you ever had a nigga in your circle that doesn't fuck with the bro code? I'm going to tell you this. Okay. It's niggas that have different codes. Right. But I mean, it got to be one code. No, it's not. No. A, no because it's more than one bro code? You, I'm about to tell you why. Or is it a man? It's between you and your bros. It's, it's how y'all code. Lo- yeah. It's, because it's I know niggas, like, I'm going to keep it real. I ain't going to draw no names. Yeah. But we are, I got a couple niggas that, like, they okay with that shit. Right. Like, they okay with certain shit that right. I'm not okay with. Right, right, right. And that's why I be like, bro, that's you and your bros. Mm-hmm. Don't, I don't do that over here. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But it's nothing wrong with that, though. That's okay. just how they operate. Right. So whatever you and your bro codes is. Right. Yo, but you don't my, think it's a generic, it should be one it's, code. It's a, sim- universal it's a similar, code. but I feel right. like over the years, that has, I mean, look at the world now from right. when we thought a bro code meant something. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, to now, that shit way Let me hear the young boys over there. Y'all think it's a bro code? Y'all, y'all stand on a bro code? None of y'all done hit none of y'all niggas bitches? Stop lying. It is fucked up? Is it? You fighting over some nah, pussy? You don't, you don't fight your, you don't fight your man. You don't fight Tender your man. Tender love. You don't fight him over no That nigga said I'm fighting. But I hear what you're saying, though. It depends on your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not fighting nobody over that story. Yeah, you But she didn't, he didn't rape her. Oh, my God. <laughs> He, she, he she might, did this, so bro. I'm going to keep it real. He though. might not be saying he fighting over the <laughs> girl. It might be the loyalty like, thing. Like his, I think I, I can't, can't swing on a nigga if she, if she opened her legs. I can't rap my... I can't rap my... Um, you dig me? That's... Yeah, yeah. You could go to him and he kick up and be like, nigga, what, nigga? She That's chose me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he bitching me. <laughs> Listen, 
I like that. See, I gotta, right. sometimes you got to talk to the young boys, too, because these niggas on go for They can meet a bitch last night, and you fuck my bitch I met last night, I'm going to kill you, niggas. The young niggas yeah. is tender. These, I can't these wrap young my boys mind different. They yeah. different. Yeah, they different. I can't wrap my mind around fighting nobody over no female. Mm. But sometimes, sometimes it don't always be about you fuck my bitch. It's more like you my man, you, you, you owe me some loyalty. And yeah, you but, it, but it's still, but she at the owe end me of the day, the type. No, facts, you know, it but depends. it depends on, if that's your man's man. think so? I think a woman, listen, a woman that I, just say a woman that you've been, and this is going to sound tender, but fuck with me. A woman that you've been spending money on, spending time on, you honor her, respect her, yeah, and then she this. go and slide with the bro. Yeah, no. At the end of the day, her integrity is in, is not intact. Workhorse do not agree a with man, that. man, understand yeah, one thing about a man. We are beastly. It's in the Bible. Chicken tender. No, it's not that. We are Definitely. beastly. We are beastly. We the- can't control our appetite for women. We can't. <laughs> It's, it's designed. So you say that. I'm not that getting mad. At it. I'm not getting mad at it. Like, no. You're not getting mad, but what I'm saying, you only have a certain level of saying no. That's it. I understand the that. Bitch got to be ugly, fat, or I'm never handicapped. Getting, I'm, if you my girl, if you, and my, you not, if we talk about if you my girl, you keep talking about somebody that you hit. You, my you girl, some girl that you is hit, going to owe some girl. Yeah, yeah, some, girl, girl that you hitting, some girl that I'm hitting, bro, she don't owe me no loyalty. She don't owe you shit. No, 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 no. Uh, but what I'm saying is, no, I told you that he's vibing with her. He's taking her out to dinner. I don't care. She's not your wifey, bro. She don't owe you shit. Mm, so she, so, so what she, if you hit her girl? You think that she'd be coming at you type crazy? But she's a woman. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what make it tender is that nah, you're nah, not a girl. Tell, see, I think I'm going to I'm 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 say something. A lot of men in the world feel like we don't get in touch with our, I'm not going to say feminine side, or they feel like Feelings we can't emotions. have emotions. That's not true. No, you can women, definitely women, can't have emotions. But, but that, women, women treat men like they're not allowed to have emotions. They right. like this. No, if, a, sure. if a nigga act tender, you acting like a real You're a bitch, bitch right And they now. know what to say to you. But, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But think that. about it. But that's Your baby up. mama goes straight to that. Straight to that. Yeah. But what's fucked up is we supposed to cater to any time. Y'all mad Keisha in my DM. For sure. You want to cut Ke- you want to cut Keisha tire, stab me. But the minute you holler at one of the bros, you want to justify why you did it. Yeah. We, but, I, I, but hold on. Let me talk. We are entitled as men to have emotions. Facts. What the you fuck? Are. We human. Yes. But we've been taught as young boys, if you cry, your pop hits you. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Stop crying. I'll Punch you in the girl. chest. Because he don't want you to ever feel like you need to cry or show weakness. Oh, bro, right. You feel me? So how you feel about that? Do you Are you one of those women that... You like an alpha man. You don't want him to be in his emotions. He can't come to you uh, being sensitive. Be honest. Um, It all depends on, like, how much he in his feelings because I'm not – I mean, I'm, I could be very emotional sometimes. It all depends on how much I care about you. But okay. but if it's too much, it's too much. Can your man cry? You respect it. Cry- what he crying for? <laughs> <laughs> You see what I'm saying? What are you crying for? I'm not saying. I just proved. I, I just. Nah, it's just really, like yo, better yo, nine times really out of ten, though, really a man like is crying because he got caught respect. doing something. No, Rick, you're wait. OG like me. No, hold on. Let me explain. What did your pop tell you? <laughs> if you cried, he probably would have chastised. Her. Little Rick, what you crying for? Shut the foot. Like you can't. We we talk. But I'm saying cry. nine times out of ten, that man is crying because you, really... he got caught doing something, right? So oh, now it gotta be you. his fault. So, he so I'm cheated. cursing you out, and you doing all this, and then you wanna cry like, but what baby, I love you. you Boy, fuck and he you. Said, you ain't love me when you was doing whatever you, you was see, doing. You see, I love you, and he crying because he hurt that you cheated. Does that make him pussy? I don't cheat. No, I guess no, not in that situation. But no. who, are you sensitive no. to his tears? Yes. And you would be receptive to it. Yes, if it was like something like that. But I would guess, you get on the I phone with your him. girl and be like, you can't believe this bitch ass nigga was in here crying? He ugly no. So ugly <laughs> you know how Rihanna said, you so no, ugly when you I, cry. I, no, like, I would wouldn't. Would you call and say no, like, he would. was ugly as hell when he was crying? I mean, if he was ugly, he was ugly. Yo, let me tell you, this nigga was it's crying. No, it's, only, nigga it's, was like, it's only a few things that have you man, ever cried. that, Rich. Have you ever cried when your heart was broken? You, know, you better not lie, man. Nah, like, I'm, I'm a You say, light skin, you know you cry. You cry, I'm nigga. Tell you, this put right on, now. you put on something real. I'm you, you put on, right like, uh, Kenny Lattimore. That's what he you cry. His baby that's, mom that's, left that's my thing. Of when, course I cry. Let's see. see. I cry. But I cry see? like a thug in the shower, so a nigga. See, but I, 
I'm gonna get in the shower. shower. I'm you a thug. You can't tell whether I'm crying or what's water on my face. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas keep... cry in the shower all day. Yeah. I'm about to keep it That's all the way being with you. What, what it yeah. is, is, it's like this. I cried when I was like 15, 16 years old. Over a girl? Yeah, it's like that first Your first love. It's that first real heartbreak. But, I, but I'm gonna keep it real. I always respect that. Like, I be trying to tell young boys and I be trying to tell like, yeah. like anybody younger than me and stuff like, you want to get that first love out the way early. Yeah. Because, like, what happens is, is these, a lot of niggas get older, right? Mm-hmm. And I got I got a couple homies that was like that and, and cousins that was like, he 23, he ain't never get his heart broke. Right. Now the nigga don't know how to act. And guess what? People ain't going to forget when you cried when you was 24. When right. you was 14, be like, 15, that messing with her, yeah. nobody remember that. And for real, for real, it's like age appropriate. Yeah. Right. You 23, 24, yeah. you don't know how to act. You acting right. crazy now. That's when your resume forever. Yeah. Like, well, you now done. Son, like, remember you, you was you, crying over that bitch that night? Yeah. 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 Out. <laughs> if your son come to you, you got to oh, cash is what, eight, right? Yeah. He come to you nine years old, like, pops, like, crying over a girl. Or say he 15, he come right. to you. Yeah. How are you going to feel? Like, are you going to tell him it's okay to get that good cry out? Hell, I'll tell him that now. All right, that's I don't want those, like, he, he not really a crier. Like, that's right. the part. I really don't fuck with him over that because sometimes I'll be like, dog, I don't want that son that bottle all that shit in, but right. he not a crier. Right. He keep a lot of shit in. He tough as shit. Like, right, right. But he'll cry over some dumb shit, but over shit that really like matter. Wi-Fi's like now. Like losing. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Wi-Fi yeah, ain't no like Wi-Fi. I can't play shit. the game. Now you're tearing up. But he won't cry over like, he won't cry over no real. Like we right. might be going through some real stuff and he'll be cry. tough. And I respect that, but at the same time, I, I try to teach him to get it out. All right. But, all right. So back to real quick. I'm gonna come back to you real quick. Over the okay, females. Uh, I'm gonna say you said that y'all y'all call it the girl code. Okay. Over the girl code, right? Um, same scenario. You met a guy, cute guy, in shape, got a couple dollars. You bag him. Y'all going out on a couple dates. You know, y'all fall off for a week or two. He, he running into one of your homegirls. Can she date him if she, if you've been telling her y'all just chilling, y'all got good sex, but that ain't your man? Can she date him? <clears throat> we done. Like we like I don't mess with him. Y'all might just go through a rough patch. She lying. Rough patch. Uh, she ain't I mean, say nothing. She lying. Matter of fact, y'all done. I'm gonna say this we because I, I'm waiting. You better not lie because guess what? There's times that we brought up niggas on here, and you said, "What the fuck, a bitch." Need to be talking to my ex man for ex man. It's a difference. Okay, if I loved you, man. if I loved you, you don't touch him. Period. If I love him, you don't. Even touch if you married, even if I'm married, loving her, another nigga, you don't. What? Excuse me. Females be loving her. Well, I don't. I don't. I've been in three relationships. <laughs> three. And you three. love them all. So three. you. So you said I've only. I'm gonna say I only love two. Okay. Because yeah. So these. Ex, so basically, like if he was your love. man. She can't never touch him. He was my man. She him. can't never touch him. Okay. And he you, was my I, man. Because nine times out of ten, I put time in. Like, I've been with my seven but years, if, eight what if, years. What if, you not, but what if he go that. to that woman and say, Juicy's married, she's moved on with her life, and, you know, I just want to move and on And if you mom. my homie and I fuck with you like that, you know better. Nah, okay. this ain't that. So that's the girl code. Yeah. Okay. And, and but if it's a nigga that I just. Fucked on. Chill. Like, fuck that nigga. Do you, bigger? Do you? Do you, bigger? I think you'll still be tight. If she call you and be if like, I, that if, nigga was everything you said he was, girl. If I didn't care about you, I'm not. Right. Okay. It's not. If That's I cool. cared about you, so let me ask then we you got this. a problem. Your squad, or is your girl called thorough? Like, they, they know fucking better. And, or do you have a thorough squad where you say, yo, I trust my squad. I'm good. I got a solid squad. Yes. Or the, do you roll dolo the, from state to the, state? The two girls that I am really cool with, yes. Two we, bitches? That's two. all I'm looking at. You two. see what I'm saying? Two. Our squad is two people. Two. <laughs> but you can't trust people. All, but all my friends really are males. Like, my best friend is okay. a guy. Right, people so you that, only got two I, solid females. Yeah, so Everybody else on the men, you like, you don't trust them, bitch. Nah. All right, that's what's up. Your squad today used to be like 50 deep. I, I seen it go down to about six. <laughs> it's about six niggas in the a, in a, in a dream right you now. You got to understand, right? sometimes people I'm, you I'm at, Is your squad deep as y'all was now, or what it, would it look like in 2022? Same. Same? It's just that, you know. You get older. No, it's it's like when you say 50 deep, you just looking at the fluff like you gotta be able to separate what's what's right. what's what's business and what's the fluff like right. the fluff and shit like the hang it, 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 Yeah, like yeah. but it, it's not even that though. It's just that when it's time to go, 
it's just certain niggas that's ready when it's time to go. They not meant right. to come right. sit at the podcast with me while I talk. Right, right. right. I don't fact. need that. So right. at the end of the day, all that shit, there ain't nothing changed. Everything's still there. Okay. So at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, all right, these four or five niggas, that's the circle. That's when it's time to break bread, you break the bread with the rest. They just right. the run. They just right. want to see you win. And when it's time to go out, they like just throwing the hoodies on with you and right. filming a part of something. Right. I mean, right. And rocking like that shit ain't nothing. If I got, if if I ain't gonna say if when I get this shit busting again, you gonna see we gonna go to a show and you gonna see that shit look how it did. Niggas gonna right. be deep that's, as that's shit fine. and we gonna be rolling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. So to end it off real quick, man, um, I want to talk to you about your relationship with Sue Surf. Yeah. Tell me how you met Surf and y'all did music together. Yeah, for and sure. How was that relationship today? Surf, that's my. That's like family. That's okay. really family. That's like since we was. We was kids. Now you said that. Now where the fuck did you run into surf since y'all was kids? Because he from North and you from like yeah, and like yeah, where y'all meeting the youth house somewhere? He can't, like, <laughs> no, he moved, <laughs> he came down to South Jersey. Before, oh, did he? Yeah, like lived? Yeah, for where? a little bit. He was around, but like he like, you know, me and him got we got real tight, and then right. he got locked up. Okay. When he got locked up, you know, like. So you when know. you say South Jersey, he was in like what area? Sicklerville? What, what? Yeah, he was in like Marlton, Mallard. We was around there with family but, or just he just hanging no, out. He can't run. He was getting this shit up there, right? And he came down here. Okay, and me and, and him, him. me and him linked up. Okay, we've been flying since. That's like we don't, you know, we don't promote that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Like okay. we did this song. Nobody got to know all that. That shit not right. even. There's nothing really to talk about. I mean, it is. For, for for his, that, daughter, his daughter, my god daughter. Wow, so you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. like shit like that. But okay. that we don't talk about that shit. Like that's that's a regular conversation. Like right. I I got a rap dream. He got a rap dream. Like right. we used to you know, we used to lay on the floor and write raps next to each other right. with the speaker laid up. Right. Like he and we on our you know what I mean? Yeah. Writing raps like, like during shit this time like he that. young boy, well, he not cripping and at this time you know. Yes he was. Oh, at the time he Hell was. yeah, okay, bro. Right. That nigga yo, I'm gonna keep it real, man. Right. Yeah, everything he say is like right. don't you know what I'm saying like that's just surface who he is, but right. I don't get myself wrapped up into yeah. What's that he part of what he's doing. You know him. It's, not, it's Rajan. It's Rajan. I, I'm yeah. sorry. No, he's good. Close. I'm just right. saying it's Rajan. He gonna say I was close. Yeah, I was close. Yeah, yeah. Ty, Rai, you know I was right. Yeah, but he was, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we went through a couple. He went through a couple rap names. Listen, Survey got locked up. Right? right. I was playing ball. Right. We played ball together. Okay. Right. He comes home. I'm about to rap. We always rap, but he like, yeah. no, I'm about to take this shit serious. Right. This nigga just had like a like a little kit, like a little clothes he had. Like right. he was ready to go. I remember when he first <laughs> uploaded his first pick on MySpace together. Right. Oh my like God, I'm MySpace. watching him upload his shit. Like he ready to go. Right. And he like, you you gonna do it? But me, my basketball dreams wasn't over yet. Right. So he kind of like started it off. And right. I literally watched him that first battle. I remember it. And then he called me, like, yo, watch this. So I, I remember watched that the battle. battle and I remember it. I remember he yeah. went from like being happy that some of these niggas was even paying attention to him to smoking these niggas on stage. That's a fact. Like, like the fuck, like mm-hmm. the, to see that shit, like, and just to watch him lock in and deal with Joe and come on, like yeah. I've been, Drake. I've been yeah. Yeah, a lot of shit. Like we've been through, a, like I've been through a lot of shit. Like I've been to a lot of shit also right. that people ain't never know. But I used to always just be in the room. Like it's so many people that probably don't know that. I was that little skinny, light-skinned dude in the corner. They don't know that's me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. them niggas, is, I've been in studios with niggas that's on, that's, like, probably, like, the, or that people that probably been around me and probably don't know, like, damn, that was you. That was you the whole time. I just yeah. was soaking game up because he right. was, I remember I was when I remember Manolo Rose? Yeah, yeah. I remember I was in on that session. Okay. I, was on, I was in on a lot of shit, like, and just sitting there soaking up right. all the game while he did his thing. But Surf, man, he definitely is a hard worker. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? He, he family, and you know what I mean. That's my brother. So, okay, he just he, he niggas gonna say what they want, but they know they respect him as a rapper. Whatever he do outside of rap, that's his business. But as a rapper, like yeah, he talented. You got he a talented nigga. He's a writing nigga. Yeah, like, and I like how he hold up jersey. I like how he hold, he's yeah, holding up jersey. He wear that shit. But like you said, when you brought up the Philly and Jersey shit, right? It was like. When I first started rapping, around that time, it was like, I, you have to pick a side. Yeah. That in the middle shit don't work. You see what I'm saying? With Philly and Jersey, it don't work. 
And it's like, you got to pick what side. And I'm like, dog. And a lot of y'all niggas losing y'all identity, acting like y'all from Philly. There you go. Mm -hmm. shit turns so, But I see people in the comments, like, sometimes I talk, like, I never lost the way. It's a little slang that I sing and shit. I'm on the phone with my aunts and my cousins and this. That shit ain't never stopped my mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to talk how I talk because that shit is instilled in me. Right. But I run right now. I run with the Jersey shit. You see what I'm saying? But it's just in me. I'm like. That's just in me. I ain't change it just because yeah. somebody want to say a comment and they don't know your background. Right. You right. feel me? So niggas be, I be saying a little shit, but I just ignore that shit. Right. But he was one of the first niggas to say, yo, cuz you got to pick a side. Yeah. And then I realized that like, damn, I remember when I had to move to Jersey, I was crying and shit. Yes. I was like, damn, because like, cause the way Philly look at Jersey right. is in a negative. In a negative yeah, they, you know what I'm they saying? So, and it's and shame, that's how bro. I felt. So I was right. like, damn, uh, they, they they cracking on me and shit. Like, ah, you about to be a Jersey nigga right. and this right. and that. But then time go past and then it's like, you know, I tried to fight it for a couple right. years. But then when you, when you go back around your old way and niggas like, yo, rich around here. And they like who? And they like man, Jersey Rich. Now you know you now you know you're yeah, in trouble. You know you're, you're, now you know you're in trouble. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like man, Rich that move to Jersey. Like oh, you in trouble now? So I'm like yeah. with the rap shit. I see a lot of people that try to do both. That shit don't work. Yeah. You gotta pick a side. Pick a side. And the last yeah. thing you want to do is be living in Jersey and pick Philly because at the end of the day, you think Philly riding with you, but, they but not. when you walk away. You a Jersey ass nigga. Uh-huh. So at the end of the day, yeah. you better go roll with who fuck with you. Facts. Facts. It's a fact. Thanks. All right, so um, tell the people in closing where they can follow you at, and um, do you Man. got any current projects on Everything um, is Richie platform. Workhorse. This is my first time stepping outside right. in about a year and a half. I mean, I got videos up, you know what I'm saying, probably like six months ago. Go check right. them out. Like I said, I was still working. It just wasn't full court press. I appreciate y'all having me up right. here, you know what I'm saying, like. From this point on, anybody that support me, like I'm, I'm outside with it now. Hey, Y'all gonna see me? I'm, I'm gonna be outside. Everything is back. It's music that's made. Right. I want to shout out Rude, shout out the um, Nook Beat, shout out Bird, shout out right. Duke, K- right. Kev, y'all, everybody that I fuck with, shout out Pud, like Raheem, the whole squad. Little ski, ski, oh my God. Pud, Pud. Pud. It's, it's a lot of people. That, it's a lot of people that's around. Pookie from Sixth Street. Yeah, you know I'm saying shout out my man Dom. Right. You know what I'm saying like it's a lot of niggas that just was around that keep me Motivated. in a good mental mind frame. I can't forget my kids because I know Cash, you gonna be tuned in. Facts. Hey Smush, I know you gonna be watching it too. And Jay Tudor, I ain't forget you. <laughs> yeah, I mean I love you. What's up, man? All right, so this was episode seventy seven. Hey. Where the fuck? We was at with this we nigga. Back, we was on a hiatus, but we back. This was episode 77. We on our way to 100 episodes. I got Juicy Jeline with me. We ain't oh, taking no... Oh, pr- man. We well, forgot. What happened? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Time out. <laughs> Before time we go. Time out. Time out. Since we here, I'm, I'm going to break this whole podcast. Right, let's go. Let's go ahead. Let's get it. He gonna ask Juicy about when what you asked her how she how, how she know, know. and she and she me, she did the me, side swipe. I didn't side swipe. No, no, no. It ain't that. It ain't that. But he's gonna tell you. Please, let's get it. I'm about to tell you a crazy story, right? Let me get my. What's the part of my segment? Let me get my segment. Uh, right this is now. when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Nothing <laughs> bad he about to say. Like like that. Let's we go. go. We in the studio, right? Right. We in the studio, and. Juicy in the studio. Okay, now she was Amanda at the time because we gave her Juicy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, my name Benjeline, but right. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, they she's added in the, Juicy. But Amanda, yeah. She's in the studio, right? Right. So it's an A room, B room, okay. all that shit going on. I'm right. recording, so I got an engineer in there. Okay. Fiend boy. But he, but he get busy. Oh, okay. You feel me? He get busy he's on the internet. Yeah, I don't know why Fiend and Juicy go together, look, but I'm not I wasn't with him. He get, okay, yeah. I'm doing the Fiend. He yeah. said the Fiend. Because he was in the, listen to the story. So, so we in there, so he, yeah. he he doing what he got to do. So he gets up to go to the bathroom. Right. Somebody in there was doing they want to serve him. Right. Right. Okay. He goes in the bathroom. Mind you, we thinking he got whatever he had already. But right. He cop something else while he was around right. Whatever happened, right? Okay. He come out the bathroom. Now, we see him all the time. He do his little thing, but that's right. his business. He know how to handle it. He a grown it. man. You feel me? He a yeah. grown man. And he mixed them records good. Right. And this nigga comes out the bathroom, but I ain't never seen him look like this. Right. And I'm talking about when I say he lean in, his eyes is just looking. Yeah. He looking bad. Hey, killer grand, this nigga get on. Now it's niggas in there. Niggas getting scared because now he, he on that one leg and he tipping over, but he yeah. ain't falling. Right. But he in the studio now. We we <laughs> right. try. We got records that need to get mixed. Right. 
So now he ends up, we end up putting him on the couch. He eyes in the back of his head at this point, right? He's just smacking him. Not us, but these other things that must have Right. Smacking him. Bah! Trying to get him chops. Throwing water on him. Nothing happening. Now, Eric, now we shook, right? Mm-hmm. We shook a little bit at yeah. this point, right? We shook. We <laughs> like, oh, none of this. so we don't know what that he, he had. The, he, he had some dope. Show me it. Got some dope. No, for sure. We yeah. knew it was yeah, dope. Yeah. We, we knew. Yeah. We knew he was hit dope. Yeah. That's what he did. Right. But I'm saying he hit the dope, but it, it must have been something bad or something. Yeah. So look, he come out. So now we like, we, we like, I th- he probably like dead. You right. know what yeah, I'm saying? We at this thought point, he was gone. So now we on some type of time where we like, leave him. What we gonna do? No, we can't leave him there. But now. My man that run the studio, he getting mad. He right. mad at this point. So now he like, yo, what y'all think what should we do? Should we just drag him to the end of the street and leave him there? Because at the end of the day, he a fiend. Like, what the fuck they going to say? He just, we just going to leave him there, right? <laughs> what the fuck they going to say? Right. Nothing, nobody going to say nothing. He, right. he, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he looked like the, a fiend? He, all that. Dirty, everything. All that. Yeah, down the arm, just, yeah. he, he there. But he just Dang. really nice and engineer. Right. Right? So we like, fuck it. Now nah, we can't do that. We know him. We used to go right. pick him up from the motel. Right, we right. knew the girl he do it with. Mm-hmm. Like, we like, I can't do this stuff. So we grab him by the back of his motherfucking jeans and shit and throw him in the van. Mind yeah. you, you know how the van seats is in the back. This pussy just goes straight down in the back. Yeah. And he laying there. He not breathing. So the boy that gave it to him hop in the van, too. So he white boy, but he yeah. was scared. Like, oh my God, he's not breathing. He all that <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, yeah. He and her bitching, right? So he bitching. So I'm sitting in there. I'm like, damn, I'm kind of shook too. Because I'm like, damn, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So we take this nigga to the hospital. So when I get out, I go to the security guard that's by the ER. I'm like, hey, yo, bro. I had a fiend back of the joint. He, he was all fucked up. Like, yeah. He like, oh, don't worry about it, bro. We see this all the time and right. shit. He must have not knew how bad this shit was, right? So mind you, this nigga go in the back of the van. He bring, he pulled a wheelchair up. He grab him. When we threw him back, this pussy was so white. His eyes went to the back. It was like a white security guard. Like, oh fuck, dude, like that, <laughs> like one of those white boys. So versus, dude looked like he was straight. He was dead. dead. <laughs> he was dead, bro. Like he was like you had to hear the boy say the way he said. Oh fuck, like yeah, to hear that shit. Hold the Yo. Fuck. Bro, hold on. This story sound like the nigga popped up at the in the front of the hospital. Y'all hey. telling me y'all niggas rode around yo. with a fucking yo, body. He was son. in the back of the car. So, long story short, he was gone, bro. They end up bringing this nigga back, right? Shout out to Narcan. Yo, yo, yo shout, Narcan. shout out to Paco. That's my man. Okay. He off. I know he clean. I think he getting married. So this, so uh, the nigga that then, died came no, back. No, he came back. His Listen, name Paco. Paco. Shout Paco, out to Paco, realist, Paco right? Son. I want to interview hey, Paco, uh, son. You should, because yo, yeah, when you yeah, reach out to Paco, person, bro, he, I want Paco to come on good, the show, he bro. A good I want to, I want a good person. I want to interview him. But listen, he um came back and mixed the record. Yeah, and same night, back to same normal. night. Yeah. Just, that's the illest nigga in Nebraska. He came back, and mixed the record the same night. That nigga, somebody hit that nigga with some Narcan. Yo, but you had to hear how the security guard screamed that all oh, fuck dude. Like yeah. he talked all this shit like he had seen like. Never so seen a ghost. Like, like he was like, oh, don't worry about it. We see this. Like, no, you ain't see this. This, this nigga different. dead. <laughs> you seen it too? You yeah. Seen it? So you riding around with a dead body with this <laughs> I thing. wasn't. First of all, no, I wasn't. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't. Was, was you a correction officer at that time? This is off the record. No, but I'm <laughs> nah. trying to be one now, so. <laughs> no, but that was a story with me. But no, that was fine. That, that was, that was a little crazy that, little story. That was the was, segment of the show in, where keeping it real goes I wrong. I knew it was yeah, some fucking shit. She just in the happened trenches. to be there that right. day in the yeah. trenches yeah, and shit trench. was going on. <laughs> yeah, she probably went home because y'all was the realest. Yeah. She thought y'all niggas was Wu-Tang. First of all, I've been around worse, but all right. She comfortable. She not that type. She be chill. What did you do when you got home? Did you like, did it, did you have to? shower like y'all gotta wash the day it was just crazy it was just crazy crazy. it wasn't really obviously i grew up in the hood so it's not nothing i ain't really seen seen before before. but of course but um it was just to see it in that moment i've never seen a dead body on the streets in i have i've seen somebody get shot right in front of my house all that yeah it's crazy go a little can go a little harder in the town yeah i'm from north Camden. let's be clear we're different. Yeah, no, we're different. She, she, we different. Well, I got yeah, you. no, she 100 percent comfortable. But no, nah, that was a dope story, man. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna have that as the clip going around. 
for this podcast. Like that, no. that was dope. Like, cause I really thought y'all was gonna say somebody smacked the shit out of him. He woke up in the back, like where the fuck we going? No, like, he no. was gone. Y'all niggas said this nigga was dead. Was but dead. listen, from the time y'all drove him, I thought it only take three minutes for your brain to lose oxygen. Bro, he wasn't breathing. We don't know. We don't, I mean, we ain't doctors. We don't yeah. really know Bro, the we actual. Ain't actual but he was but, alive. but the nigga him. wasn't but breathing. Yeah, cause 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 we could have just gave up. Like I said. Option A was drag that nigga to the end of that street and leave <laughs> right, him there. Right there. But, but the Narcan bought him back. That's what yeah, they gave us some yeah, Narcan. We yeah, was, we was definitely about to take him to the end of the street and just leave him there. But yeah, we saved him and shit. But like I said, shout out to everybody that was there that day. She was in that the was building. That juicy. You got some stripes and uh, you seen your first dead body. You was with niggas. That wasn't band, my first son. dead like, body. But I really fucked. So you really from the hood, Juicy. Oh, yeah. I, I, everything that I Thank say, I take back. Thank you for stepping in because he yeah, always talking yeah, shit she, like yeah, I'm not she, from she, the hood. They was trying to say she's Linda Wall. They was giving her Linda Wall vibes. Thank you for stepping in. Linda Wall, you know, over you know, pine, the pines. That's what she put her work in. Linda Wall and the pines. You ain't put your work in the pines. All right, cool. All right, that was episode 77. Where the fuck we was at with this nigga Rich, Richie Workhorse. But we out here and we gone. My nigga Richie, that was that was a way to hit the three at the end. Yeah, <laughs> my nigga. No, cause I forgot, I had forgot about that. My homie locked up, locked up. We don't even know if he gon' come home. Oh, no. He get posed, but I hope he stays strong. Louis try to scrape before his last ones. Last ones. Bro, Distance or she ain't impressed. All the homies left me for dead when he come home, it's right. I can't think to myself what it feel like. 23 and 1 in a cell. Give me.